Hey everyone, I am back with a new Network Field Day, another Network Field Day events. This time I'm at Network Field Day 33. That's a two-day event this time around. So some of the other ones I've been to in the past have been three-day events. Did a Cloud Day, Cloud Day 16, not too long ago. That was a single day. We got a two-day event here uh, with some some presenters that I know and some new presenters that I've not, I've not actually, I've not heard of before. Uh, so starting on day one tomorrow, we're leading off with Graphient. Now, Graphient, it was either at field day 28 or 29, um, might have been 29. They actually did their public launch to coincide with that network field day. And from what I recall from Graphient that first time around is that they're a bit SD-WAN, kind of MPLS. But they work more with a, a a different backend, so they're not common carrier. It's it's not something that necessarily rides on top of something like AT and T. That they've built more of their own network on top of. I believe it was maybe it was Equinix data centers. So it'll be interesting to see where they've come in the past. We'll, we'll, we'll just go ahead and call it a year. Some things that I definitely remember standing out from their first presentation were things that that were like the end-to-end -end encryption and the speed and the overhead not impacting the, the latency or the speed as it came to putting that encryption in place and you know, putting it on stripping it off. More programmatically access that. I remember, it was more, more of the very over SD -WAN So definitely here, looking forward to and hearing very heavy they've done in the advertising or, or talking about how well updates could. they've made. I'm hoping to hear that they've expanded their footprints because I do definitely remember that the footprint it maybe wasn't a problem for everyone, but I I definitely recall the footprint being something that's that I was hoping to see more of more of an improvement on. So we'll we'll check them out first thing. After after Graphient is Cisco. Now I do know that at least Meraki is a part of that. Met with the Meraki folks who are going to be part of that presentation tomorrow briefly tonight. So we'll be hearing that update from them. The next is a company I've not heard of before at all before this is RGNets. And looking at their their website prior to this, doing a bit of research, it sounds like they've actually been around for quite some time. So it somewhat surprises me that I've not heard of them before. So, and, and I'm just taking the marketing language straight off their website here, where they say the RG Nets RXG is a sophisticated multi-services edge gateway that can fundamentally transform your network stack which sounds pretty marketing heavy in just in terms of a statement. So I took a quick look around at the industries that, that they seem to have use cases for. They, they have WISPs in there. They have multi-dwelling multi units, multi-tenant units. They had some like large venue spaces like stadiums, things like that, airports and, and healthcare in there which I, I spent about 15 years in healthcare. So I'm really interested in hearing about how they use this edge gateway to help in those environments. I have a few ideas of how this might work, and I'm just kind of wondering if they're Maybe an updated, more intelligent, more nimble version of something like a Sienna device that you might find, let's say, AT&T or Comcast. They're dropping a line at your building and they've got to put something in place. So maybe this is kind of... I, 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 I don't want to compare them directly to Meraki, but if this is maybe more of the next generation of those types of hardware devices sort of you know, Meraki came on the uh, into the into the field and there's others as well but they just made those services at the enterprise edge easier to consume that they're more of that service provider edge in making that easier to consume 
So definitely looking forward to hearing from them. I believe they're also a first time presenter at field day at any of the field day events. So that's even more exciting. Day two, we get into Nokia. So definitely I've seen Nokia before. I've spoken with Nokia outside of field day events in the past, obviously, maybe not obviously, but they are behind the container lab project. It'd be awesome if they had some container lab updates in there. Maybe they've convinced Cisco to put some Dockerized versions of their software out there, but I somehow doubt that. I don't know that we'll be hearing, you know, necessarily a, a container labs update. I'm assuming it's going to be something within their switching platform, probably within their fabric and data center platform. Uh, Nokia, it's, it's interesting. The first few times that I've heard Nokia in those spaces almost it surprised me a bit just because I didn't really know their platform. But the more I've heard from Nokia, the more I understand that they are more interested in the fabric itself, like really, really into the fabric. It's been interesting to talk with others who have adopted Nokia. There's, there's a lot of Nokia out there in the carrier space, kind of, you know, maybe there's some competition in there with RG with them, but I'm assuming again, we're going to be more switching more data center with Nokia. Fortinet will be next, and sometimes it's hard to know exactly what you're going to be hearing about with Fortinet. They have grown their portfolio so much over the past few years, just beyond firewalls and just firewalls themselves and other services that tie into firewalls and more security and more cloud. So again, don't really know what we're going to be hearing from Fortinet. But definitely looking forward to hearing that. And the last is going to be from Intel. And to me, they're really more of a wild card in whatever it is we're going to be hearing from them. Because I just, I don't really know what Intel has in the networking space. Obviously, their processors are, are pretty well known. They had those little, those little compact Nook computers, which unfortunately they recently announced they're going to stop manufacturing. It was disappointing to me. My current, my current lab at home runs on one of those Intel Nooks. But yeah, Intel, I'm not exactly sure what they're going to be coming out with for us, but obviously I'll be doing a review of that and all of the other presenters shortly after they do their presentations. Try to get those done within the same day. Fingers crossed I'm still able to do that for this event. So l looking forward to the next two days. Looking forward to another field day. Thanks to Tom, Stephen, and everyone at Gestalt that, uh, that put this together and invites me and the rest of the delegates out for this. Really looking forward to it. Get those updates out there, and I will talk to you all later. Take care.